Hey guys, can you hear me on this? I've got the uh, headset on. Let me know if you can hear me. Type something back. I wish this shit was stay. Good enough. Plug like it. Okay, we're going to wait for some more people to show up. We are live here from Sunset Station in Las Vegas. I see that there's only a couple people here. Can you hear me right now? If somebody wants to just type something in the chat that yes or no, we can hear you. I'm talking kind of soft because I'm not certain whether or not they're going to allow me to do a scope from the sports book of Sunset Station Casino. As you guys can see, that's where I'm at right now, Sunset Station Casino, and we're doing a scope from the sportsbook in here with some Major League Baseball releases for today. Even though it is a light schedule and there has already been some games that have gone off for today, um, we're still going to release a couple of plays. And uh, if you guys ever want any of the um, higher, stronger releases, we have those in the office itself. Yeah, they certainly have relaxed their, uh, their rules. Back in the day, I've been in Vegas for 25 years, and uh, back in the day, you were not able to bring a phone into the sportsbook whatsoever. Um, there was just a bunch of stuff that you... Let me turn this TV off. There was a bunch of stuff that you just couldn't get away with that you can get away with now, which is really great. In any event, I can't see what anybody types in there um, without my glasses on, but if somebody can type in that you can hear me, which I'm assuming that you can, and then we'll go ahead and start beginning with uh, what we're doing for today. And again, these are free plays. All right, great. Thanks for letting me know. Um, today on the baseball docket, there's not a lot of games that were really... Uh, really strong on, but one team that you certainly can't uh, bet against too often is Philadelphia Phillies. Philadelphia is just a terrible return team, and obviously they're playing Milwaukee Brewers, the next worst team in baseball, but you got a situation today where Philadelphia is bringing Chad Billingsley back, and Billingsley had a sore shoulder. Um, he hasn't pitched in, I think it's been 46 days, 47 days. Um, he's coming back against a Milwaukee team that's actually been playing pretty good recently. And in this particular situation, you know, you got Garza who hasn't been throwing great, but against Billingsley, who might not struggle to begin with, in my opinion, in my estimation, we are going to bank on the fact that he is going to struggle a little bit. In his uh, rehab, he did not have really great outings. They brought him up um, to replace, uh, geez, I'm trying to remember who they just sent down, uh, Aaron Harang was who they sent down. So we're going to actually go with... Uh, uh, two plays in this particular game. Milwaukee playing Philadelphia today. Uh, first pitch is going to be going off a little bit earlier than normal. It's a 335 Pacific. And uh, we're going to go with Milwaukee Brewers with Garza. Milwaukee's a $1.35 favorite in this matchup. And we're also going to buck the trend a little bit and go with the over eight runs. Um, it's eight over, uh, actually right now, it is minus $1.10 both ways. So on this uh, opening line, it was eight over $1.15. The uh, market seems to like the under in this game a little bit. We like the over in the game. We think both these pitchers are going to get hit um, just a little bit. It takes us down to the next game on the docket, and that's Washington playing Atlanta. And uh, in this game, we've got the number 11 prospect for the Atlanta Braves uh, coming up, and that is Banuelos. Banuelos got a tough spot here as he's going against um, Scherzer for Washington. And anybody who follows baseball knows that Scherzer has been absolutely on fire as a late. Very, very difficult to get this guy, uh, whether you're you know, talking about hits or just to be able to get contact with it right now. He's striking out pe people at an amazing clip. Um, however, Washington has not been playing great, and we do believe that there's some opportunity for some value in here in the fact that they're way overvalued. Washington is a two to one favor in this matchup. And anybody who bets for a living, anybody who bets recreationally, the one thing that you want to do is you want to try to get some value. And to have to lay two to one with the Nats on the road is a little bit steep, even with Scherzer. And they're going against this Bunuelos kid who can pitch and is going to catch a Washington team that really doesn't have anything except film to watch. So in this particular matchup, 
we're going to take a shot. We're going to go with Atlanta Braves. Atlanta's got, uh, uh, you know, uh, good pitching overall and decent enough bullpen that I believe if it's a low-scoring game that we're going to be able to get some value with this one. And the take back on Atlanta is plus eighty. And what you, uh, for those that are not familiar with that, thank you. For those that are not familiar with that, plus eighty means for every $100 that you lay, you get $180 back for your money. If you want to take Washington Nationals, you're going to have to lay $200 to get $100 back. Um, it varies. I bet on everything, and I bet a lot on different sports. Um, so it really varies. I can't tell you exactly how much I bet in a day, but um, that's how I make my living. I have only done sports betting for gambling um, since 1999. I used to work for Marriott, and I had left that, and... Uh, and ever since, that's what I do. Have you had a bet on Wimbledon? I have had a bet on Wimbledon every single day since Wimbledon has played for about the last 20 years. So, um, yeah, absolutely. And if you look at some of my previous casts, and I don't know whether those scopes are still available or whether they've been deleted or not, but on the previous scopes that I did, I actually um, uh, gave Wimbledon matchups. We had seven total matchups, and we gave out two of them for free. Hey, how you doing? Andretti, we gave out two of them for free, and um, in the remaining matchups, I, you know, this is what I do for a living as well. I sell sports picks, so we were trying to have people contact the office. Hey, Brazil, very nice, man. Nice to see you representing Brazil. Welcome to Las Vegas. What we're doing here is we're releasing some free sports picks. Uh, if you're in Brazil, one of the best sites to get information for uh, games is scoreboard.com. That is the number one site in Brazil right now. Do I like Brazil? Man, I love Brazil. Unfortunately, I don't have any information to give you uh, to bet on Brazil. If you're talking about any type of hockey or any type of, or excuse me, any type of soccer, um, we've got the Copa America, and uh, that's coming up Friday. We've got uh, Paraguay and Peru, and, and Peru, and we've got the um, Argentina-Chile matchup, which is the championship game on Saturday, which is uh, July 4th. Independence Day here in the United States. And um, I will have a release on that. And if anyone uh, is interested, you just check in and uh, follow me, and we'll be putting out uh, uh, releases. In any event, getting back to baseball, um, as far as the games go, I'm going to put out a favorite as well. And on the uh, favorite side, we're going to go with Chris Young, Kansas City Royals. Kansas City is a uh, really good team. Obviously, they excel at home. I don't know why that green dot is on there. It must just be a reflection from this TV, but Kansas City excels. Uh, they're a first-place team. They excel at home. They excel on the road, but you're talking about a Minnesota team that is so dominant at home, and they just don't play that well um, when they're away from uh, Minnesota. And Kansas City, with Chris Young, who had a great start in his last game, um, had played about 500 baseball over the last couple of weeks. This is a team that certainly is going to play better than that, just like other teams in that division, such as Detroit. Um, these teams are certainly going to play a little bit better than they've been playing, and you can look for them to win a little bit more. But as far as the, uh, the game today goes, Minnesota has got Gibson going against Kansas City with Young. Young's a little bit of a favorite. He's a $1.50 favorite. I'm going to release out Kansas City as a free release. $1.50 is a little bit chalky, but you only pay the juice if you lose, and you're not going to lose in this particular circumstance. Something that we do a lot of is release first-inning propositions, and what that is is will the team score in the first inning or not. It's a great wager. A lot of books will release your money. As soon as you make that wager and the first inning is over with, you can go ahead and get that money and bet something else. Um, today we have a couple of plays that we like a lot, and obviously... Uh, Sometimes in these particular circumstances, there's favorites, there's underdogs. This one happens to be a favorite. Uh, that's the Washington-Atlanta game. Scherzer, who has been unhittable lately, is going against, as I said earlier, the number 11 prospect for Atlanta, and that's Buenelos. And I think they're going to have trouble hitting him to start with. Sometimes it takes a couple of times through the rotation before you're able to hit a pitcher. And you've got two really solid uh, pitchers going for a first inning where you're looking for the no meaning no run scored in the first inning. That's why it's a little bit favored. Right now it is at $1.55. And again, you have to lay $1,550 to make $1,000 or $155 to make $100. Um, and that is all we're going to release as far as free plays for baseball today. 
Um, if you are interested, just give me a follow, and you can uh, watch these replays at any time. And um, again, we are here in. Sunset Station Casino. My name is Ken Green. Follow me on here, and uh, as always, good luck with your bets, guys.